What the? Where the hell am I? Hey! What a drop! Dadovichnik? G'day all, Dadovichnik here. Uh, this is the old chicken processor. Um, worked quite well originally, but um, now they've seems to have uh, changed the AI with the chickens and they keep getting stuck on those steps. I tried half slabs, uh, but as you saw from uh, if you looked at the update one that I did, they were even less successful than the steps. So um, basically if you for loading purposes, you really just want to put the dispensers up the top somewhere and uh, fire them straight into it, which is a bit inconvenient, but um, it's uh, life I suppose. Now the biggest problem I found with this is, uh, in SMP, anything that pushes uses water currents and allows animals up against a wall is pretty much useless. So um, I came up with a couple of different ideas and uh, this is what I ended up with. Now this is a uh, SMP friendly uh, chicken spawner. Now this is stackable, so there's no reason to uh, just build it up one more and there's no reason why you couldn't uh, put multiple levels of these along. Uh, lag is killing me here at the moment for some reason. <coughs> now basically as you can see there is a hole down underneath those guys. Um, we have four water sources, uh, three are down low and they do not change so that's quite simple. The only thing that changes is these two pistons here. Now you notice this water source here is one higher. Now if I just, um, there's actually uh, another piston down here, which is extended at the moment, which forces that out, and that covers that hole up. Now I've tested this with eggs, and they still all drop nicely down the hole. Whoops. As you can see, they still all fall down the hole. That's uh, quite good. So anyway, when I shift the pistons, basically what happens is the bottom one retracts, the top one extends, and that puts all the water sources at the same level and opens up the hole. and into the hole they go. Now how you uh, decide to keep this open is of course up to you. Um, as you saw that took a while because the chickens now fight those currents so if you wanted to leave that off for a particular period of time uh, you'd need a crap load of repeaters. I've got no idea how many. I think with this idea it's probably best off if you just uh, use levers like I have here. Uh, this is a very simple mechanism. I'll show it to you in a minute. And um, just basically, you could just do it floor by floor. Um, yeah. Now, the ideal thing about this is it also gives you that hole in the centre to collect your eggs. And I'll show you a bit more about that in a sec. Okay, now the system here is very, very simple. Simply two sticky pistons, rocks out with uh, rocks, smooth stone or whatever blocks you like out the front here. And we've got two torches. Now they're both in the off state. So as soon as they're on, uh, both turn on, this piston will go forward. This one here will turn this torch off and this one will retract. So as I said, it's uh, very, very simple. And as you can see, the hole is now covered. Extremely simple. Uh, I had a much more, I have a much more complicated method in uh, multiplayer than I'm doing at the moment, and uh, I will be switching it to this. That'll save me. I've got two pistons per corner at the moment, so that's about to save me six pistons that I can do something else with. And to reload, you, know, you can do it however you like. You can either uh, just simply fire them into the uh, water like so, or use a uh, dispenser method. And that's simply the standard clock. I did try a fast pulser on that, which I saw on a uh, machine gun uh, version of a dispenser. 
but uh, it didn't seem to work very well. I'm not sure whether it was just pulsing too quickly for the dispensers to pick up or not, but anyway, um, so yep, very simple to reload, and by having multiple floors, you could simply turn one off and lower them down to the next one if you had the stacking. Now another thing I found, um, I got a new subscriber and um, I was checking out his channel and one of the things he'd looked at was a um, chicken cooker which had, uh, tutorial which had been done by a uh, Spetaflax. Now the original concept for this thing came from a guy called Wubby Concepts. Now I'll put uh, links to both those in the description so you can have a look at those when you like. Um, and basically what I've done is adapted um, Spetaflux's uh, chicken cooker concept. Uh, he had an ultimate cooker which does uh, cows, pigs, mushrooms and chickens and uh, you can change it between both. Now I only needed to cook chickens uh, so I basically took off anything that was uh, not required. Uh, if you want something that does uh, more than your average uh, lava dot then or lava source block then you can check that out in the description as I said. Uh, for me it's too easy just to drop a cow through some lava uh, or a pig so uh, I don't really see the need to have a fancy cooker for them. Of course if you're constrained in uh, the height you could use then something like that would be useful uh, if you had it already but there are much more simple designs than this on the uh, around on YouTube to uh, take care of cows and pigs. Now, basically uh, that X up the top there is simply to show you where the base of this would be. Obviously here we have an egg collection point. So as we, as we can see, eggs would simply fall down. Oops. and be collectible down the bottom here. Now if they, uh, you, you could just do it uh, like this, the holding pen for the cooker is here, so it would be possible just to walk into this spot here and pick up any eggs if you didn't want to do this. Now without further ado I'll show you how uh, this thing works. Hang on. Okay, I think that was 10. As you can see, they're simply coming down the water stream there and dropping down into the collection tube. And once they're in there, it's simply a matter of standing on this plate. And that was it. Okay, I'll just clear a bit of this crap out of my inventory and you can see exactly how it worked. Get rid of this. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oop. Okay, I've obviously got some in my inventory somewhere. Yeah, where are we? Okay, as can be seen, just from those two lots of chickens, that's all I've done at this stage. Uh, that is a pretty good recovery rate for a chicken cooker. It's uh, better, probably not quite as much fun as this other one here, but um, it certainly does give you good recovery rates. Now the way this operates is uh, very simple in concept, but uh, the way this guy's put it together is just brilliant. Uh, basically we have two pistons at the back here and a double piston extender here. Now when you stand on that plate, uh, three things happen almost simultaneously. The double piston extender pushes across uh, forcing the chickens into this area here which retracts and basically it this retracts and pushes the chickens straight into the lava stream and the other piston behind that simply pushes them forward and because you're standing here you pick it up.
So if you left that in any way, you could probably drop it into water or something, which is something I saw uh, Wobby Concepts do. Um, and you would get the resulting chicken still cooked, but uh, in the water stream. But this way is uh, very simple and very elegant. Uh, and I'll shout out to Spetaflux and Wobby Concepts for coming up with this. So I'll be giving this one a go. As I said, this is an adapted version. It only does chickens. Uh, yeah, and I think it does the job very nicely. So together with a uh, stackable tier system of these uh, chicken uh, containment units uh, over the top of one of those cookers, and uh, it's basically chicken for everyone on the server. No doubt about that. All right, well, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you later. Well, back again, and uh, here it is in the multiplayer world. I've removed the old chicken farm and replaced it with this thing. This is a uh, stack of uh, three uh, chicken containment units. Uh, that's the chickens glitching out there, and the chicken cooker built underneath. Now. As you can see, we've got an offset here so that the eggs drop. Uh, it's been loaded for a while. The lag is pretty bad for some reason today. Not really sure why, because my frame rate's not too bad. As you can see, I've been madly collecting eggs. I'll grab another lot of another uh, bunch of stacks here. Now I'm going to try loading even more in it. So anyway, uh, basically this is the same cooker that I demonstrated uh, in the test world. Uh, glass tube with a uh, water funnel in it, that's pretty basic. Uh, the only thing I did have to change is the wiring for the pistons. Now what I found was, if you remember, this is how the wiring was. If I had that block there, above that one, which is where it was, for some reason when it was powered, it prevented this one from closing. It didn't operate that piston, it just stopped it from closing. So uh, I came up with a fairly uh, simple and elegant solution. Basically it's just a straight line wire with one torch on the side, and that works really, really well. As you can see, we've got the same thing up here. Just simple lever here with that because otherwise that block there would affect that one. Okay, we've got our control uh, level here. We've got the dispensers up there which I with which I loaded all these already. Uh, it's just you would have seen my uh, one of these by now. It's just a very very simple clock turns on and off with power to this block. There's a torch underneath there. Uh, redstone on across the top of the dispensers redstone across the top of the dispensers. Now you do that by uh, clicking here with the redstone and it will appear on the dispenser. Hope I don't fix that. Okay, as you can see we've got plenty of chickens in each one. Now what I'm going to do is uh, turn off the bottom unit first and then I'll turn that back on. Uh, I don't have a timer for this because it's a bit um, uh, weird the way things work. As you can see. Now that has now activated and as you can see the chickens down on the bottom layer are starting to move into the tube. Okay and that's them. And you can see it's covered back up. Second layer drop in. Working well. As you can see, the chickens fight the current for a random period of time, so there's no real way of working out, I don't think, of exactly how long it's going to take. Uh, I suppose you could use like a five minute dispenser timer or something, I don't know. Uh, I'm not worried. This particular thing works pretty well, I think. Okay, and as we've seen, two, 
63. Now this is a standard load. I'm going to load more into it now and just to see how it goes. Although I do have a feeling this uh, system is lagging the server a little bit. So we'll have to see what happens. As you can see, they just simply get shot at those blocks there and uh, drop into... Ooh, one went out over the side there. Get fired at those blocks there and they ca chickens can't get up on top because of those glass blocks there. Although, we do seem to be losing a few out here for some reason. I'll have to drop that back a block. It could just be uh, glitching as well. As you can see, we've got a nice load of chickens in there. Not long now. Okay. That's it. Alright, so once again we've got three loads of chickens. Now let's test this cooker out. Now as stated before, ah oh, here we go, so you've got a bit of uh, glitching happening here. And uh, they're glitching through the block there and burning up a bit. Now I was thinking before, if you didn't want to offset this thing, you could pick up the eggs by moving into this corner here and picking them up. Hmm, that's interesting. So it looks like we have got a bit of loss there. Okay, well let's see if this sucker works. Hello. And this lag is bad. Well, well it looks like I just picked up the eggs from over there. Okay, didn't seem to work very well at all. Now they did say there would be some um, glitching chickens. Yeah, I think I might just replace this. Uh, I think it works well in single player, but I think in uh, multiplayer it's just a bit... Um, what is going on there? Go figure. I think they only just burnt. <laughs> oh, that lag's bad. Yeah, I think I might just get rid of this and just go back to the straight drowning trap. Um, it's not as fancy, doesn't look as good. You can see that's only just finished opening up. The, the lag really affects this badly. So in a single player world, this thing would be brilliant. Um, in multiplayer, uh, not so. So I'll just go back to a simple drowning trap here and uh, that way you get the 100% recovery, you've just got to cook it afterwards. I was just hoping to save a step. Alright, well, but that's life. Uh, I have a simple drowning mechanism which probably a lot simpler but doesn't deliver the cooked meat. Now I seem to have got just as much raw chicken out of that as I got cooked stuff. The drowning mechanism is already incorporated in here so if I want to rip all this out it's simply a matter of getting rid of that water block there and uh, closing that off. When the chickens drop down here, you simply flop that and that drowns them. Unfortunate thing about that is you've then got to cook the chicken, so which is why I was trying to opt for this mechanism. But uh, the lag we have seems to prevent that. Clock mechanism, right, which is up here. Very, very simple, as I said. It's simply... Uh, block offset to another one. We have a repeater going into this block here. We have a torch up above, one piece of redstone here, and one piece of redstone here. 
Now as long as this block is powered, that torch will be off. As soon as we turn that switch down there, this put will turn on and, and it'll clock. This is only a one tick, whereas the only way I could get the old clock to work was with a uh, two tick and it needed a fair bit more redstone to actually uh, get it operational. So let's have a look at that. Now as you can hear, that is operating a lot quicker. And you can just see how well it works. I put the glass up here because there were a few overshoots for some reason uh, with the old system. You will have the odd chicken glitch out into these blocks and die. Uh, not much you can do about that. Okay, so there we go. Turn that off. And we have three floors of chickens. None of whom can glitch into walls. And all of whom will soon be laying lots and lots of eggs. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers.